68% of the people here are unemployed. We're having some of the highest school girl pregnancies in this area. Gangsterism, drug abuse are completely out of hand. Uh, it's a difficult place, but it's also a place that gives you opportunity. So this is a church on a Sunday, and after Sunday church, they pack up the chairs. From Monday to Friday, this is a clinic. We have a community health outreach. Together with our partners, the Rotary International, the Department of Health, and also the, uh, the City of Cape Town Health Department. Uh, and especially through the pandemic, I mean, we, we needed each other. All the services we do here is important services for this community. But one of the biggest challenges is people don't really care about their own health. All our services are incentivized. You have to give food or clothes or parcels. Otherwise, people don't come. Just before COVID pandemic, we were 35 networking organizations working together in this eastern sub-district. 29 of these organizations have actually closed down due to lack of funding. In the, right in the beginning, clinics and hospitals were calling on us, saying, listen, we don't, our nurses are dying, doctors are dying, send some of your people. And because of the funding from the COSA, we could do that. So we supplied a lot of staff to hospitals and clinics, in the beginning especially. There was a lot of um, confusion in the community. So we being in this community, people trusted us. When we said come for vaccinations, people responded. There was a trust element between civil society and the, and, and the community. Pambili's own staff, many of them contracted COVID. You had to stay at home for at least two weeks. That means no pay. Because of Nikosa's intervention, they said, no, that's unfair. We will pay that person that contracted COVID. And so, so that, it all became better. Oh, I think I have a passion for people. You need people. So networking is important. And uh, it is together that we can make a difference.